In this video, I'm going to show you how to find the least squares regression line on the TI-8384 calculator. And we need to get the explanatory x values here and the response values into L1, L2. So that's under stat, edit, and I've already done that. All the x values are in L1. All the y values are in L2. Then we need to go in and go to the catalog, so second catalog and turn on the diagnostics. If this has been done before then it's probably on. So diagnostics on, hit enter. Then we go to stat, calculate, and then we go down to four, enter, and enter. Now this is the least squares regression line in this form. The A is the slope, the B is the y-intercept. Notice it wants four decimal places, so that's why you had to put these zeros here. Okay. Now how to graph that and get it a picture like this, we want to go into the uh, scatter plot and plot our data. So second stat plot, enter, make sure this plot is on, go down, choose the first one which is the scatter plot, then we want X list to be L1 and Y list to be L2. You can choose that by, this is alpha nu numeric, so click alpha and then second L1, which is down here. Enter, and then the same thing for L2. Then we want to go into the zoom and do zoom 9, which is the zoom stat, and that's our plot. Now we want to get the line in there. We get the line in there by putting it in the Y equals but we need to have the equation. So there's two ways of doing that. One way is just to type it in there from our information at the beginning, negative 0.6 and 6.13333, or we can use uh, exact values little a, little b. I'm going to show you little a, little b, but you could also type this information in here. So the little a was the slope. We find that under vars and down on statistics, and then over to equation. That's my little a that holds that slope, then x, and then we have our, our uh, y-intercept, and that's little b, so same thing, vars, statistics, equation, little b, 3. So this is the exact information, it holds all of it, that's why I'm doing that, versus putting the uh, rounded off values, but you can use either. Hit enter, and now when I graph them, we're going to see the line going through the data. Now we can kind of match this information up, by looking at that it's going through this point here, it's this point's above it, right? This point's below, above. Keep matching them up. This one has one right below, and this one's on the line, but this one's not on the line. So that's how you can kind of get the uh, graph and the line together with the scatter plot on a TI-83.